Hello everyone, Dr. Mazen will be demonstrating on how to do the intraosseous anesthesia using the quick slipper. The quick slipper gives you an immediate, efficient action with no pain and no numbness. Hello everyone, today I will demonstrate quick slipper and focus on intraosseous technique by quick slipper from A to Z, for sure on the model. So let's see the simplicity and how to do efficient anesthesia inside the bone. Let's talk about quick slipper parts. Quick slipper uh, used this handpiece. It's a magic pen connected to the computer till the brain going to the power supply. That's all. All this machine controlled by this wireless, chargeless and batteryless food bed. It has four pads. The first one is to change between the programs. The second one is aspiration. Third one is the injection pad. And the last one is to do intraosseous to do penetration or drilling. For the installation, before starting using quick slipper to do intraosseous, we will use this container, the metal container. It's a very unique and special container to include the carpool and to do rotation upon using quick slipper for intraosseous. I place my carpool inside the container and I screw it over the head of the handpiece, like this. Once it's done, now I will go to fix my needle over the handpiece. By the way, needles has three colors. The white one is the normal one to do all anesthesia techniques plus intraosseous in the soft bone. And the yellow one is little thicker, so it's doing intraosseous in the dense bone, mainly, let us say, on, uh, in, uh, in the mandible, in the lower jaw. And the green one is using mainly for beetle, for the uh, children. Let's start fixing the needle. I put the needle in front of the handpiece, and it will be screwed electronically, not manually. So I press, continuous press on the lock pad on, the, on this display and fixing the, the needle and the handpiece in front of each other, like this. I place the D to the direction of the window to guarantee the bevel direction, which is on the opposite side of the D. Before starting my anesthesia, let's uh, divide the process into three virtual parts. The direction of the D is to this side, going very superficially into the gingiva. For sure, this is a demo, so no gingiva, but it is a virtual position. Okay, going like this inside gingiva and applying injection of a few drops of the anesthesia material, for sure using the foot pedal. After having the white space on, the white area, the white uh, point, I go out and change my direction, going to the position of intraosseous. I will place my needle over the bone, then I will press the orange pad of the pedal, which is the rotation pad. Let's see. Now I'm going in. It's a pulse drill. You will feel like this, you see. It's dropping inside the spongy bone, the cancellous bone, which is the enough level of drilling, of insertion. Once I reach this position and this level of drilling, which is recommended to go within the two thirds up to three quarters of the needle inside the bone, then I reach the third level, the third stage of my uh, intraosseous anesthesia, which is injection. I will press the injection and I will inject my anesthesia material inside the cancellous bone, which will go mesial and distal to anesthetize from one up to seven or eight teeth, depends on the position and the quantity of the material, injected material. That's all, once I finish, Simply, I remove out my needle, then I start directly my procedure. No waiting time, no postponed 
appointment, directly go to your procedure. That's all. So simply penetrate, go to the tissue, anesthetize. Second, drill the bone and inject inside the cancellous bone. That's all with a quick slipper. Very simple, very easy, very efficient. Thank you so much. For any questions, feel, feel free to be in contact with us. And for any training needed or demonstration or even webinars, we are ready to provide upon request. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.